By the end of this video, you will be able to normalize audio within Audacity. Let's get started. First, you're going to want to open Audacity and import your audio file. In order to import, go up to File and then Import Audio. This will take you to the files on your computer so you can import an audio file from what you see here. So I have one that I would like to import here. I will click on the file and then I will click on Open. Another way to import an audio file is simply to go to your file and then drag the file into Audacity like this and it will import it that way as well. So normalizing audio adjusts the volume levels, ensuring a consistent and optimal listening experience. Imagine you're recording a podcast with varying volume levels. Some parts are too loud and others are too quiet. Normalization helps even out these differences, ensuring a smooth and enjoyable listening experience for your audience. Now that I have the audio imported, you can see that the audio levels are low overall in this recording. So now I would like to apply the normalization effect to make it sound better. To apply normalization, go up to Effect, and then you're going to go to Volume and Compression, and then Normalize. So you notice that I did not select the audio ahead of time, so I need to do that. So in order to select the entire audio, I can click in this gray area here, or you can go to the Selection tool here, and just select the portion of the audio that you would like to normalize. I would like to normalize the entire audio, so I'll click in this gray area. Now again, I'll go up to Effect, Volume and Compression, and Normalize. So this will bring up the normalization settings, and you can see that you can preview the what it will sound like here, or you can apply the settings here. So the first option here for Remove DC Offset centered at 0, 0 vertically, you're going to keep that checked. That's just going to keep everything centered around this 0, 0. And then the normalization peak amplitude, this negative one decibel is going to be the best setting. So it's going to make sure that your audio doesn't spike too much, but as well as going to keep everything in a good range for the person who's listening. So by keeping these the same, I'm going to go ahead and click on apply. So now that this file that started out being too soft, now it is the perfect range for someone who is listening for it. And if you want to listen to your audio recording and click play on the top of your screen. So a possible problem that you might run into is that your normalized audio might sound too loud or distorted. So if this is the case, then you'll want to go back up to your effect and then click on volume and compression, normalize, and you're going to want to change this uh, peak amplitude most likely. So you might need to change it to a, a lower number, maybe like negative five. And if I click on apply, you'll know that it makes it a little softer. So again, if your audio ended up being too loud, you might need to change that to a larger negative number so that that will solve the problem of possibly having maybe distortion in parts that are too loud. The second problem you might run into if you're running an older version of Audacity is that you might run into unintended artifacts or sound artifacts. And what that means is that you've applied a lot of different effects to your audio. And by the time you've gotten to normalize, you might have so many effects applied to it that it will have distorted the audio or uh, made uh, certain kind of sounds come into the audio. This is not an issue within the newer versions of Audacity. So if you're having artifacts, you might want to update to the newest version of Audacity, apply the same effects that you gave to your audio, and then export it that way. You now know how to apply normalization to audio within Audacity. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. If you made it this far into the video, you probably are interested in how to remove echo within your audio recordings in Audacity. I made another tutorial that shows you how to do this in detail. I'll put a link to that video here.